Ooh, I'm gonna have to fix this in post, but guys, if you can't see me that well, um, the brightness may be down. I may edit it during, let's see, let's give it a quick tap. Oh, there we go. So you're gonna have to deal with the unfortunate glare, but I'm back. Last time I talked about this little number, the CCM, uh, it's really small in here, so I don't wanna pull it out all the way. This time it's uh, Monday, May 20th. It's actually a holiday here today in Canada. Um, so I have the day off. I know Americans have Memorial Day next Monday, but while y'all on Memorial Day, I'll be at work. Um, but this Monday, not this Monday, last Tuesday, I was going to make the video last Tuesday, but I would have just been laughing on camera because non-hockey related, I was laughing my ass off of the fact that the Knicks got the uh, third overall pick and not the first overall pick. Because most of you all know by now, I'm a Raptors fan. Uh, that's why my voice is a little shot because if you don't follow me on Instagram, I was at the game last night. That was a lot of fun. One of the best games I've ever been to. Uh, but today, I don't remember, uh, got the Dropkick Murphy shirt on. Um, but I want to review this stick, the Warrior V1 Pro, uh, my Jonathan Quick model. I actually got a puck mark right there because I had to make some saves. You got to do what you got to do. Um, the one thing I'm starting to notice, to what I noticed right away, like with the CCM, how there wasn't a lot of, like, with the, let me show you, actually. So I was just describing it. See with the CCM, how there was, like, a lot of puck marks that were left, like, on the actual shaft, like, shaft or blader paddle is to call whatever, call whatever name you want like right there 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 with the warrior i noticed the complete opposite like look it still looks brand new minus the fact that there's like it's just the tape that got put to work like yeah even like down here like there but that's just obvious wear and tear the top never really gets used that much because i'm not using that part that much i'm using mainly here because if you're playing goalie like this you're obviously going to let in a lot of goals but I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just want to come on here and basically say, honestly, because the first time I used it, it felt like I was going to people and they were asking me too, and I was like, I'm going to have to get used to using this stick overall, but at the same time too, using this stick, like, <coughs> excuse me, using this stick, like, it feels really good to use. Um, I don't have any problems. At first, like, it, was, it felt like heavy, but then again, it's just a normal composite stick. I just like how it feels like the, like, the top part of the stick. Uh, feels a lot lighter than most other sticks, case in point, the Bowers I used to own. So yeah, now that I have these two, I've gotten the use out of each. So basically, I had one practice, one game with each stick. Um, basically, I just got to keep on, I guess, just keep on using it. It's just one of those things. You know how they say uh, you're not going to learn how to ride a bike in a day? It's the same thing with using a hockey stick, where if it's something that you're not new to, like if you're new to, because like with me, I've never used Warrior, no matter like when I was playing player, net, I've never used warrior thing. Like the only other piece of the warrior equipment I had are the pants that are like right off to here and this. And then also too, I used to own warrior knee pads, like my Vapor 1X ones right now, but I got sick and tired of those, so I sold them because they sucked. Um, just basically it was a lot of bit of a pain in the ass to keep holding them up. So I basically got rid of them and bought new ones. Um, but yeah, that all I wanted to come in here and just say quickly, yeah, so I haven't used Warrior that much, but the stick, honestly, it's a good stick to use. I'm glad I spent the money on it. It's It, it was not too, too expensive of a stick because the top-end model, like I said, the V1. The V1 Pro is $350. I don't have that. I'm not going to go spend that money, especially as a newer goalie. I bought the just the V1 regular. Yeah, the V1 does a senior model, um, as you can tell. Um, it's doing good for me. Like I'm liking it. I'm getting a lot of use out of it. Uh, I'm just gonna start playing more. It's just kind of tough to find ice because even though I am in Canada, finding ice in the summertime is a bit of uh, tough. Just because it's not that it's tough in the sense that it's tough to find ice. It's just tough to find time ice time that works best for you. Like I could have got offered to play today at nine, like nine in the morning, but I was like, I I, I just can't. Like because of last night I got home late, and then also to the fact like I don't want to wake up early this morning and go play. I slept in. Hopefully I get to play next is on Saturday because I'm uh, I don't I'm not I'm not playing tomorrow night due to another commitment. Um, which you may find out if you follow me on Instagram, you'll find out tomorrow what it, what it is. But anyway, um, that's just the warrior stick right there. Just a quick review on it. Uh, I'm going to be basically, at it, cause the more and more new gear I get, I'm going to use it and test it out. The next new thing I'm thinking about, I actually think I'm about selling is the chest protector right here, just cause I do want something that's a little bit more durable. So I think I may go new and then try to get some money from this one. But, yeah, that's just my Warrior Stick review and maybe future plans. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. I don't know and don't know and don't care how many of you watch this, but I'm on the journey of the goaltending. So, see you guys in the next video, wrestling or goalie-related.